Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone. In our previous episode, our adventures kidnapped the king and ended up killing Shabit Daw and two of his main men. So where we left off was uh, Ryan was on cotton was in an alleyway. I didn't have to <laughs> chuckle while you said that. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> and the rest of them, minus Blaze and Aelrindal, were uh, just had just finished fighting Shabit Daw and his men. Uh, so what would you guys like to do? My body counts as difficult terrain if you step on it. <laughs> I am going to loot Shabbat Daw, see what he has on him. Okay. Uh, on him you find 70 gold pieces, and he has a ring on too, as well as a necklace with an emerald in it. I'm going to take all of it. Okay. Okay. All right. I need to pay you back. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But <sighs> Jesus, can somebody just revive me, please? <laughs> You're not dying. <laughs> I'm still unconscious. The stable. So, is there any special about these ring with a the necklace? Or is it just jewelry? <laughs> uh, Roland and Ca- Arcana check. I don't know. I do have the identify spell. If somebody revive me. I could probably use that. But I got an eighteen, so. Uh, you believe that having this ring on will give you an extra spell slot? I definitely don't need that. Uh, okay. But I'll still take them. Okay. And do you believe that this emerald was like a spell casting focus? Oh, okay. We can just sell it then. Yeah. Uh, so what would everyone else like to do? I'd like to wake up, please. <laughs> uh, can anyone actually heal him? Oh no. my god, you can't. <laughs> I can't. I have no, I have no healing. Does this count as a short rest? Can I expend a hit dice? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, if it, he's only just like unconscious now, right? Yeah. I mean, he'll wake up eventually. Because he was stabilized, right? Yeah. So he it's basically like he's still just that. asleep because he got the the living shit kicked out of him. Uh, the guard that was with you just happened to have a healing <laughs> potion. <laughs> and Amazing. And he'll dump it down your throat. Thanks, buddy. Oh, just... what a stellar guy. What's his name? <laughs> Uh, his name is... Xander. <laughs> yeah, this is Xander. Are you kidding so me? Wait. Is that canon? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I hate it. Uh, so you have, like, you do you roll at all to see how much it heals you? Yeah. Yeah. So you Depends flip on the, the coin, yeah. and either heals you full, or it doesn't well, heal at all, right? I don't know, That's would true. I roll or would the guard? No, the guard oh, does yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, I guess so. A regular healing po- potion is just a d4, right? Yeah. 2d4, 2D4, 2D4 plus, plus 2. two. But imagine if you had to, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you gain back six hit points. Dope. Weak. I'm at six hit points. <laughs> and you are now conscious. Amazing. And you see all around you, you see the dead body of Shavadaw and then his head just away from the body. Okay, I'm gonna go inspect his body and see if he has any cool spellcasting focuses or something. Uh, you see, you find nothing on him, like not even any gold pieces. Damn! <laughs> wow, it's like somebody looted this body already. <laughs> what about the knight? It's What's his armor really like? Shuffling. Uh, the knight's armor <laughs> was uh, <laughs> the, the, the knight's armor was plate mail, and the veteran's was splint. Oh, uh, whose armor did you melt? Yeah, that was the, the plate. The, the knight's. Dang. Well, I have mithril armor anyway, so yeah. I probably want to keep it for now. Uh, okay, do they have any gold on them? Anything else? Uh, I need you, money. You find another 40 gold pieces on Great. them all together. Surprisingly, the knight did have lots of gold, but it's all melted now. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Gold is gold. It doesn't have to be in, uh, you know, coin form. Stamp your own coins. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a forge. Or a forge. I'm a forge cleric. I can do shit like that. I'm a forge. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a forge. <laughs> no I'm research. a forge. Boom, <laughs> <laughs> boom. Oh, I got one. Yeah, I was reaching with that one. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking all four of those gold pieces just because stop it. I like how the first thing that you do is like you you wake up, you run over to Shavada and check his body. Okay. Well Yeah, nice. You know, I'm a little disoriented, but I see a bunch of dead people around me. Stop. And you just <laughs> have to loot him. It's not me. Just battle reflex, because that's totally what I have. Anyway, is anybody in need of healing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's no need now. Well, we, he's going to do it points. I'll go six hit points if we get waylaid by bandits. Aelin Dillon are getting low. Okay, well, I'm going to cast Prayer of Healing anyway and hold everybody up for ten minutes. <laughs> 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 so I think that's six people. Up to six people. 
good one. Uh, Zix, Zix will begin burning uh, Shavage's body. Oh. Just to make sure that no one can revive him or okay. anything like that. That's cool. That's cool. It's okay. pretty metal. <laughs> does he does he start singing hard rock while he does it? <laughs> no. Thunderstruck. <laughs> Headbang. Kickstart yeah, my heart. As he tries to burn the body. Yeah. I'm just gonna cast Rain Frost and counter his burn just, <laughs> just to be an annoyance with him. Wow. Okay. How many of us are there right now? Uh, There's the, the three of us plus Zix and the guard. And Torian, yeah, so there are six. Okay, well, yeah. I'll cast Prayer of Healing. Since we're burning this body anyway, we're going to be here for a couple of minutes. So everybody gets 2d8 plus 5. Um, I just got to roll for that. Uh, Zix is annoyed and will just be like, Would you please stop that, Tufaren? I'm trying to get rid of this body so nice. we can't come back in any way. So 19 hit points. <laughs> I'm just going to keep staring at him <laughs> okay. and casting it. You get 19 hit points back. <laughs> Uh, Torian will help to burn him too. <laughs> so uh, the body does burn because there's okay. more fire than I mean, gnarly. <laughs> I don't know if this is in character, but I want to cast heat metal on my battle hammer and then smash it into his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's up to you. That's I don't think up. I, would, yeah, I don't think Ryan would actually do that though. So he'd do it anyway. I'm not gonna. I don't want to suddenly become evil. I'm gonna start playing hacky sack with his head. <laughs> How many times are you able to hit it before it drops? Roll performance. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Athletics. At, ooh. I got plus seven. <laughs> As you near the head, I cast Thaumaturgy and make it talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please stop kicking me. 25. <laughs> yeah, you, you, get, you like keep it in there for like 25 times before it actually... Hits the ground. What a record. And as it, as it goes, Tom <laughs> Turgeon makes it go, Ah! Uh, ow! <laughs> hey! No! <laughs> uh, so once everyone is healed and bodies are burned, uh, Zix will suggest that everyone go back to the headquarters. I come I'm down. Yeah. I, I want a long I rest. We'll follow the group. Okay. Uh, so every, everyone gets the headquarters without any problems, including... Uh, Ailrandal and Blaze with the king. Would we arrive before them, though? Yeah, you arrive probably about five, ten minutes before them. Nice. So if there's something you want to do before they arrive, you can. <laughs> there is. Um, I'm going to unload the king's unconscious body. Uh, I'm going to carry him into the HQ. I'm going to unroll him from his blanket. Yeah, And uh, I'm going to tie him to a chair. Like... I'm going to use an entire rope for one okay. arm, an entire rope for the other arm. I'm going to tie his neck back against the chair. I'm going to tie his ankles to it. And I'm going to put duct tape over his mouth. And I'm going to turn all the lights off except for one and have it pointed directly at him. And I'm just going to stare at him. And, like, I'm going to sit in the chair opposite, but just, like, like this, like, doing, like, the Machiavellian thing. I'd be like, hmm. Where do you find duct tape? Yeah, I was going to say. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I slap uh, an oiled rag and then wrap in his mouth <laughs> and then I tie it in there and I'm like, yeah. Just take some of, like, your old underpants or something. <laughs> no, I want him to gag. fucking taste oil. <laughs> Pretty sure he would be. I hate this guy. I'm going to treat him like garbage. <laughs> Are you? Okay, yeah, you're neutral. That's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so they're going to walk in and they're going to see me sitting in the dark <laughs> staring at this bound and gagged king. Yeah, I'm just standing behind my this <laughs> I don't really All care. Right. So do we walk in on this? Uh, yeah, you guys walk in <laughs> and you see talk. the key, you see King Allen tied her chair yes. extremely like tightly to every limb, his neck as well, <laughs> with a gag in his mouth, and you see uh just Blaze like, Oh yeah, I blindfolded him too. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's blindfolded. Yeah. You see Blaze just looking happy with himself and excited <laughs> about the future of what this will bring. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna walk Oh, hello, up. everybody. I'm going to walk up and take his blindfold off. Hey! And just, like, get right down. Like, I'm pretty sure, so I don't have to stoop that much, but I'm still going to stoop a little bit. And I'm going to be like... Wait, you can't stoop? Even when he's in a chair, he's taller than you. You're a dwarf. <laughs> I'm four foot two. Pretty sure he's not four feet sitting. I don't know, maybe he yeah. is. Well, anyway, I get island. right in his face. I'm like, <laughs> we took care of your revolution for ya. Because uh, I hate this guy too. 
And he's still unconscious. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I, I just rolled a constitution check. Wow. Wow. Okay, you well, hear Blaze behind you go, <laughs> well, <laughs> stupid dwarf. Honestly, <laughs> if I saw he was unconscious, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. do that. In that case, I'm going to slap him in the face until he wakes up. Okay. No, I want to slap him in the face until he wakes up. He actually dies now. <laughs> Both of you are going to run up to him and just slap him from opposite but, uh, sides of his head. Uh, I'll, I'll reluctantly turn the lights back on now that okay. everyone's here. And I'll be like, uh, hey guys, uh, how'd it go with the old Shavada? Go well? Went on, went off without a hitch. Oh. Without a single hitch. Is that dried blood on Ryan's face? <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, okay. <laughs> I burned a guy to death with his own armor. It's Epic. Epic. Yeah. I actually wish I could have seen that happen. That would have been awesome. You weren't the one who killed him, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I'll turn to Zixi, and I'll be like, uh, So, Zixi guy, uh, what's the plan now? I believe that we have a few options here. We can either just put King Allen in a jail cell and let him rot. We can have a public execution for him. Wow. Or we can have him... Step down from the throne in public and give it to someone who could lead. Fourteen-year-old. I'll be ben, honest, and then go to jail. I'll be honest. I'm super down for public execution. <laughs> super down. Uh, I don't like, think that'd be. Like true. I said, I'll kill the fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> that might be going too far. This guy's uh, kind of a cat, but he doesn't deserve a public execution. Uh, that sounds like an opinion. <laughs> and but uh, you have woken him up from stabbing him okay. so much. Just as you're talking, just keep <laughs> talking. To <laughs> I see that he's awake, but I, just uh, keep I will approach anyway. King Allen and I'm gonna take my one cat claw and just like grab the gag and like pop it out of his mouth. I'd be like, "You're not king anymore, okay?" He says, "What is the meaning of this? No, no, Why no. have you kidnapped your king?" I slap him and I say, "No, no, no! <laughs> We're talking. <laughs> you're gonna step down, or I'm gonna cut your throat." <laughs> And why why would I allow that? Because if you don't, I'm going to cut your throat. <laughs> my daughter will just take my place. Oh, you got a daughter. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think she will. You're kind of an asshole. My men are in the city and will take you guys all down. Most of them are either on fire or dead. Shavada will deal with you. Shavada's also dead. <laughs> Looks you. Surprised. Yeah, my boy Ryan melted him in a pile of armor. It was awesome. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's 100% what happened. <laughs> I give Ryan a, a permanent nudge. I'm like, yeah, man, right? Yeah, the point is, you're alone, and I'm going to kill you if you don't do what I tell you to do. Wow, dude. <laughs> uh, he sighs, and... Says, what do you want from me? I do, how many times do I have to say this? <laughs> You're gonna step down as king. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get up in front of the whole city and publicly denounce yourself. Naked. No. Make him, make him do it naked. <laughs> it doesn't have to be shame. <laughs> and then what would happen to me after? Depends on you. If you cause trouble, we'll have to deal with you. But if you're willing to just let things slide, or uh, let let us. Do what we want. I'm not charismatic. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't say that. I'm just... Anyway. Uh, listen, if it was up to me, I would kill you right here now. But apparently... So do it. Uh, <laughs> 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 Ooh, don't tempt me. Uh, but no, um, the plan is that uh, you're going to publicly denounce yourself as king, and then you go to jail. So I'll rot in a cell for the rest of my life. That sounds about good to me. Uh. I mean, you don't really... I, I, I'm i sorry. We gave, like, this weird vibe that there's an option. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't one. <laughs> when he says the words, do it now, I'm going to walk up quickly and firmly, and I'm going to grasp him by the throat and tip his chair back and have firebolt ready to cast on his face. Oh, wow. shit! <laughs> okay. As the will just be like, whoa, whoa, whoa! If we kill him, it's publicly. So everyone knows what's happening. I start dragging the chair inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I'm gonna grab onto the chair leg and be like, "Whoa! If anyone gets to kill the little fucker, it's me." <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna grab Farron and just try and pull him off of the king, the ex king, whatever. He said he wanted to die now. We can do this like civilized people. And by that I mean doing this, but in front of everyone else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Civilization. <laughs> we don't have to kill him. He doesn't have to die. Uh, if I'm he gonna, cooperates. I'm gonna. I'm it's gonna. His choice. I'm gonna pounce on top of the king, and I'm gonna do an intimidation oh check. What? To try and make him uh, just do what we say. I'm just gonna okay. assume that that weight makes me let go of the chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the seven. Oh. <laughs> I have a plus three, damn it. Yeah, he, he doesn't find pity cats to be a <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that hurt, Gabe. <laughs> uh, um, this hurts Blaze deeply. <laughs> and uh, and uh, he gets off and he says, you, you guys, get him out of here. I'm going to kill him. I swear, I'll kill him. I'm gonna kill him right now. I'm on it. I'm gonna grab the chair. And stop <laughs> saying shit! <laughs> Farron, stop! I leave and I sulk in the corner. <laughs> I pull Farron off the king and stop him from dragging him no, away. No, I stop when you say Okay. Stop. okay. Yeah. Well then, I'll put the king back up. So we're sitting upright. <laughs> I just backhand him in the back of the mouth. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cast heat metal on my battle hammer and hold it right up to his face. Mm. So it's glowing red hot and it's like right in his face. Like he'll be able to feel the heat emanating. And I'm gonna say, Ryan says, uh, it'd be in your best interest to cooperate with us. We don't want to kill you, but we will if we have to. It'd be much better for you to live a life as a simple farmer on the outskirts of the city, or across the continent, more like, than, uh, you know, public execution at the hands of my friends here, which I'm sure wouldn't be too pleasant for you. I'd make it last! Stop, <laughs> stop, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not a jail assault, then... I'll agree to it. Okay, great. We have a, we have an accord. <laughs> Compromise. Oh, I really wanted to kill him. <laughs> we should still send him to jail. No, double cross him. I I, I turned I turned to Alan and I'm like, we could totally just like lie and say he's not going to jail and then send him to jail anyway. It's the wrong thing to do. I don't, I don't care. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> I gotta go to mall. <laughs> okay, I don't sound like that. <laughs> uh, Blaze is annoyed, and he just kind of like huffs, and he says, uh, "Fine, whatever. Let's just do it already." Okay. Uh, Wait, we're interrogating him. Zix will send one of his guards out to try to get stuff moving in town. Probably around morning, then we'll do it. Yeah. I want a long rest, please. Uh, uh, Zix will say that this will happen. T- in the morning at noon. Okay. I will nice. rest because I need my three hit points back. We should have someone watching him. Zix will watch him. Yeah, I need a fucking, like, 12-hour nap, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm finding a con. I'm just like... <laughs> we walk up to Ryan and be like, I found this on Shabbat Daw's body. I hope this makes us even. I'll give you three right. How much is a ring worth gold-wise? Gold, uh, gold-wise... I'd say probably... 60 gold pieces because it, it's serene that gives you an extra spot slot made of made of gold all right we'll call this half because <laughs> wait you only like 400 gold don't you 200, 200? okay yeah. we'll call this half i'm fine with that i'm not greedy i just i get my worth and he's a forge cleric so he totally knows the worth also, of the metal man. player's handbook doors are racist to really literally every other race that makes sense yeah except i have a backstory <laughs> Changes it all. Which of your parents died? <laughs> <laughs> Which family member was it? <laughs> or was it a lover? Uh, so, uh, you guys are able to take a long rest. Was there anything you wanted to do before you took a long rest? Uh, I'm gonna paint a picture. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the lights off again after everyone goes to bed and turn that one light on the the king. So <laughs> one for lighting and two so he can't sleep. And then uh, I'm gonna paint him bound and gagged. Okay, just roll a performance check. I rolled a ten. Ten. Uh, not my best work. It, it's not your best work, but it it's a drawing. Uh, <laughs> it's a drawing. I'm going to before I go take a nappy nap. I'm gonna go up to the king and I'm gonna cast deafness on him. Deafness? Okay. I don't want to hear anything. Yeah. This is any talk. 
Oh, deafness. I thought yeah. you said death. No. I, was like, death. I was like, you just killed this man? I cast deathness. <laughs> That's a totally real spell from the totally I don't know, I misheard it. I was like, you feel the sleep. Nice. All right, now go sleep. Okay, so you wake up. It is now morning. It's probably around 9 or 10 or so. Uh, Zix is still in the room. He has some guards around him as well as... King Alan is still tied to the chair and stuff like that, and he just seems uh, just seems to be planning stuff with his fellow guards. And he sees that you guys have woken up, and he says, Good morning! Thank you again for all that you've done here. You've you've probably saved the city. Just wait. <laughs> just wait two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want a position, then... I'd be happy to have you work with whoever we install as the king here. Shit. I think I'd look good with a crown. <laughs> <laughs> a crown of madness. So he kill all your guys. <laughs> we will have the king resign at noon today, as I said last night. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be in just a couple of hours. And it'll be in public so that everyone knows what's happening. And after that, we'll try to figure out who to be king here. We have like a sword and a stone kind of thing going on, or I've had my guards <laughs> looking up who seems that could be fit to lead. We haven't really come to a unanimous decision on anyone yet, so we'll figure that out soon too. Okay. We're not yourself, gonna make it like six. a people's choice. We will include the people's decision soon. So yes. yeah. Who needs kings Unlikely. anyway? <laughs> Kind of kind democracy. Of, yeah. so I mean, why don't you guys false, just live false, your false. lives? Yeah, we gotta like put in place like an electoral collar so we can skew the vote. It doesn't <laughs> go our way. And, you know, but yeah, democracy. Yeah. Let's make a party in it. <laughs> <laughs> right. The DEAD. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. The Dead Detective Agency. Yeah. Also, do you guys have any advice for dealing with the Shardana? So they probably will come here sometime soon. Uh, run. Run! Try not to teleport into the middle of a battlefield. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, no, there's not re there really isn't much you can do, yeah, man. Yeah, honestly, Unless you have marbles. <laughs> it'd honestly be best for you to just evacuate the city and see if you can go somewhere else. Uh, you don't, don't you fight don't, back. You don't think we'd be able to fortify here well enough? Not a chance. No. Well, uh, <clears throat> probably best to just do what the guy wants. See if you can make it out alive. There is an entire empty city called Avranches you could move to for temporary, you know, safety. I but would say, yeah, this is See, like, uh, why don't they just go to Summersdale so they don't have to take the entire city by boat? It's a lot of boats. Wouldn't it just Are be they? easier to just, like, do, like, a five day hike to Summersdale? How many people live in Stillsby? Uh, it would be. Probably like twenty thousand. Yeah, so at least that's a lot of boats. Yeah. Look, it's also a lot of people for like it's like a mass exodus. It's like some Moses shit. Either you can go to one of the <laughs> other abandoned cities, or you can maybe see about crafting a bunker underneath your city. They, if they can't find you, they can't get you, right? They have like days, not can, years, there, to build a bunker. There is black market under the city. You can Is that gonna house that twenty thousand well people? It it ranges all. Th like pretty much all throughout the city, so if you can block the entrances out, so there's, there's no way come with us to mall for them to get in. Convenient. Do you think that'd work? I think it's a good it's shot. Probably your, your best, best chance. Thanks. Either that or perish. Either way, I don't care. We are not liable for any losses you receive. Hide everyone under <laughs> underground <laughs> and then plant bombs everywhere, and then when they go running through <laughs> the city, boom, boom. You know. We do not want to destroy Sills Sillsby, though. You could probably use some renovating anyway. <laughs> Just saying. That's none of my business, though. But th thank you all for your advice. I'll take this into consideration. Uh, is there anything you guys want to do in the hours before the public event? Uh, I don't think so. Nope, I'm just going to wait happily. To Get drunk. <laughs> How much is a bag of holding? Like 500 gold? 600 gold? Uh, Probably around 500, I think. Okay. I'm actually going to I go to the castle while it's undefended. There would be guards all over the castle now. Can I sneak in? 
I you can try. A, I want to find the room of chests. <sighs> you can Isn't try. A red hand? Didn't we go in there before? No, that was the other. Or was room. that of Ranches? The, that the was red still the, I mean, that was summer sale. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, you can try to get into the castle. Why? I don't. I'm not really interested in this public thing at all, so I'm not gonna go. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and sneak in. I wanna. I wanna check it out. Yeah. yeah, uh, so as you go towards the castle, you see there are four guards at the front gates, as well as some, like, on the battlements, and some just walking around over. So roll a stealth, uh, stealth with disadvantage. Blaze, Blaze stops, and he looks up, he's like, alright, Blaze, <laughs> is this really a good idea? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just gonna turn around and walk away okay. instead. <laughs> yeah. I'll find something else to do. But I'm not going to the public thing. I could care less. So is there anything anyone else wanted to do at this time? Okay. <laughs> I don't have any money, so no. Okay, so I'll just fast forward to the public event. And there's a huge crowd gathered. Like, probably at least, like, 40% of the population. I want to go to the very, very front. Okay. Uh, Front row seats, baby. Because you were with Zix, you probably would be able to get pretty close up front. No, I want to get to the front. Okay. Pretty close to the okay. suffice. You're yeah. able to get to the front. I'm going to yeah. fall fair and I'm going to be at the front as well. I'm going to okay. be on the stage with Zix. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll just be in an empty tavern since apparently everyone went there, so I'm just going to be like. Some <laughs> drinks and like put them in my bags. Are you actually going to? Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> I, I want to go up on the stage. <laughs> yeah, for you guys are able to go on the stage. Yeah, battle hammer, bowing <laughs> robes. I'm going to be on a vantage point. Armor. Okay. Like I'm just Batman. trying to creep the audience up. Bright yellow Batman <laughs> sitting on a nearby <laughs> rooftop, be like, yes. No. Oh, I'm going to keep a close eye out for anything that anyone who might try to stop this. Okay. Any stealthy man. I just steal food and booze. There are still, like, shopkeepers in the shops and bars, so you're, uh, roll sleight of hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's advantage, because it's, a re- like, it's not You and at all. keeping. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, 21 or... Oh. Or 19. Oh, damn. At 20. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Gage, you ruined literally everything I ever do. <laughs> I'm actually mad at you. Yeah, mad at you. Mad yeah, at you. so you're not able to actually actually steal anything. Ah, I'll leave the bar <laughs> downtrodden. I was really hoping to steal something today. <laughs> I kick a rock at a window and then I just like find like somewhere to sit and just like read a book. Okay. While I wait for these guys to finish with their off. stupid politics. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you guys are at the event. It is now noon, and Zix announced to everyone. King Allen has been a terrible influence and leader for the city. He has caused enough trouble, including events with Shavada, the black market, slave trades, and death. He is here to resign his position as king and live in exile from this moment on. And then he kind of... Or you hear... uh. Cheers from all throughout the crowd. A f- you do hear a few boos and stuff just from people who were happy with the black market. F- followed by <laughs> whirling sound and then a thud and then a <laughs> ow! <laughs> <laughs> and then he tell- he takes the gag from Keen Allen's uh, mouth and just motions for him to say what he has to say. And Keen Allen will resign. He t- tells the city... I am no longer the king of Silsby. I will live in exile from this moment on. It was great being king here. Lame speech! <laughs> and cheers just come up from this, from him resigning. We'll miss you. <laughs> And then from the crowd, you hear a few uh, yells of Zix for King! Zix for King! Zix for King! And then it keeps getting louder and louder as more people and more people chant and chant until like at least 
fifty percent of nor if not more of the crowd are cheering this. It's called democracy, baby. Step up. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, six, I think they want you to be king. <laughs> He's just flabbergasted at this. Uh, totally didn't see this coming. <laughs> I I don't know what to say. Uh, we'll give this a few days, and we'll put it to a vote for. Any people who should be king, and then we'll decide then what'll happen. Holy shit, stop fucking putting it off! Just be king already! <laughs> You're not even here. No, that's just like a voice oh, in the crowd. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Some yeah, random okay. peasant man's yeah, like, stop it. being a bitch about it! <laughs> uh, he sees more people cheer at him, at people saying this, and. You should. He'll you just look around on? wide eyed, and it'll be like. If everyone wants me to be king, I guess I can't say no. Damn right. So Would I... everyone like me to be king? And then there's just a huge cheer of acceptance. <laughs> Who wants guy... me to be king? Who wants me to be king? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> there's like one guy who's like, Who is that? <laughs> who's got two thumbs and wants to be king? Can I go and like the Oh, I just can't. I was about to say that. And king. then throw it, put it on a... Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a frisbee. What are you throwing, sir? I'm taking the crown off a of king and I'm putting it on his <laughs> Oh, I thought you were saying for a second you're take the crown and like throw it into the crowd. <laughs> and like, yeah. Whoa, who's king? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Some the bride of king. Yeah, yeah. Like, Whoa! <laughs> uh, so Zix will accept the crown. Are you crowning him? Yeah, I'm just putting it on his head. He doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Usually it's like he like bends down and he gets like, you know, you're like... It. No, I'm slapping that on his <laughs> noggin. Uh, and he'll say, uh, I... Don't know what to say right now, so I'll have a forum tonight at six for anyone who wants to come for my acceptance as king and for any changes to anything that'll happen as a result of that. Where is the forum? Party. Uh, it'll be uh, right here again. Oh, I was hoping you'd say castle, because then I could be in there and I could do my sneaks. <laughs> but that's cool. I mean, you probably just get into the castle now because uh, you've got a new king. Who likes you? I don't know if he likes me. And, yeah. Not <laughs> much, really. Yeah, okay. That's and good. then they still say, Thank you, everyone, for coming out and for accepting me as the king. I'll see you, everyone, tonight here at 6. Thank you. And then he'll walk off stage. What now? <laughs> Uh, Kia Allen is starting to be taken by Six's car- guards, uh, out, like, towards the outskirts of town. If I find him out in the outskirts of town, man. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Kill him. And Six, <laughs> as Six leaves, he tells you guys, if you want to talk to him, talk to me about anything, uh, feel free. I'll be in our, in the headquarters we were at before. Um... Blaze will just, uh, he'll hear, he'll see, like, people, like, streaming through the alleyway, starting to head home, and he'll be like, oh, good, it's over, uh, and then, um, he'll go find you guys, and he'll be like, all right, let's, time to go, <laughs> we, we probably shouldn't have done this in the first place, we have some really <laughs> important stuff to do, so. <laughs> all right, Bo, where should we be going now? It's been so long. Yeah, well, well, that's up to like be snack to there. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you guys want to go to the de- depths right now, or would you like to stay around to talk to the to Zix? The only or reason what? I could think of staying is like getting Zix to give us some men. Our money for you know helping out. Maybe our we emotion. should yeah Maybe take a moment to gear up. I don't think he's got a lot of money. He's got a whole castle. Well, now he does, I guess. <laughs> I say we talk to the new king here, see if he can give us some resources to help us on our journey, mm-hmm. and we can be off to the dark area. It's a capital idea. Let's yeah. go. Okay, like so you guys go to headquar- the headquarters? <laughs> that was the I most saw. unenthusiastic <laughs> team meeting I've ever seen. <laughs> Baron doesn't really want to go. That's a capital idea. My <laughs> yeah. like capital idea. Yeah, where's the enthusiasm? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, let's march off to the depths where we're gonna I die. Zero, yeah, so you guys go to headquarters, you meet Zix there, and he's just, like, shaking his head at what's happening because he has no idea what to do. Yay! Responsibility! <laughs> <laughs>
thank you so much again for helping me with saving this town. If you need anything, I'll try to get it for you. No, just don't fuck it up. Actually, I'll try my best. <laughs> we we did come for stuff. You okay. guessed right. And again, I guess in Salt Beacon, if you guys ever want a position as like guards or advisors for Silsby, I'd be happy to have you with me. Can I be invited? <laughs> Government's not really my thing. He I says, just came uh, for some cash. Yeah, I, I guess I can knight you. <laughs> you knight, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. So I knight you, Sir Aylrandel. Nice. <laughs> Amazing. Lace just kind of like shakes his head. <laughs> He's like, yeah, because that's going to make a real difference. <laughs> hey, that'll give him sway with, you know, nobles and stuff. Yeah, I guess so, maybe. Uh, so what else can I do for you fine fellows? Well, we're setting off to the depths to confront the Shardana. So, if you have any, uh, any gear or anything that we can, that would help us with our preparations, that would be much appreciated. I can give you armor, weapons. I can give you a, a set of walk, uh, rocky talkies so that we can stay in contact. Hell yeah. Can you just give us all the rocky talkies? Yeah. We already have one. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll probably only be able to get get you guys one though. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> wow, these really are like limited <laughs> quantities. <laughs> um, no, I'll be like, uh, well, do you have anything that might help with spelunking? I can get you like more rope and like grappling hooks and stuff like that. Okay, okay, that'll do. Uh. Okay. I'll turn to B Snack and I'll ask him uh, what we should bring if he has any recommendations because he's the one who knows what to do, how to get there. Yeah, uh, he just puts like an image of torches, grappling hooks, rope. Yeah, basically just that. Okay. Just regular adventuring gear, pretty much. I wouldn't okay. mind some healing potions. Of course, that'd be <laughs> great. Uh, I'll get you five each. Uh, that might be a lot. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's not like we gave you a king crown ship or anything. <laughs> He's such an ass. <laughs> he just he rolls his eyes at you. <laughs> he does not like you much. <laughs> uh, I can get you probably ten healing potions. Well, that's good. Any greater or okay. superior healing potions? I can get you... Six regular, two greater, and two, uh, what's it? Superior. Superior ones. Uh, oh, that's fantastic. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually curious, is there any potion shops in town? I want to try and find a potion of invisibility. Yeah, uh, there is a potion shop in town. I forget the name of it. Uh, it'd be, uh, Bruise with- or Us. Sure, Bruise or Us. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to call it the Witch's Brew. Oh, you should call it the Telthania Brew House. <laughs> it's not the Telthania Brew House, so we're just in Stillsby. You know, uh, you know what? There is a chain potion shop here called the Telthania Brew House. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I'm going to walk in there and I'm going to ask for uh, what they have for potions, uh, invisible potions. Uh, yeah, they do. In, in they the do middle of our talk with the king. Can... <laughs> yeah, sure. Look at my shelf here. It's just it looks empty. <laughs> <laughs> they do have invisibility invisibility potions. It'll be twenty gold pieces each. Do they have any of greater invisibility? Uh, they do. Uh, they only have two of those. It'll be fifty gold pieces each. I'm gonna take one. Um, I'm I would I'm gonna go with Blaze because I wanna. Get some potions too. Do they have any, uh, like potions of like giant strength or something like that? So that would make me stronger. Uh, yeah, they would. Uh, it would give you a plus five to your strength. Uh, and it would cost 30 gold pieces. Okay. Uh, you have a lucky loan brew trying to haggle. I do have a lucky loan. I, I think it would have worn yeah, off. Yeah, it yeah. was like. It's been like, like a day. eight hours or yeah. so. Yeah, because we had a long rest. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for that, Zach. It's kind of wasted, but whatever. I mean, it would have been good, yeah. yeah. Or killed me. Anyway, yeah. How about uh? Really a fifty-fifty chance. How about twenty-five gold pieces for a potion? Uh, roll persuasion. 
17. Yeah, you persuade him. Yeah. All right, my first good roll of the day. Uh, is there anything else I would like to do? Uh, as they're doing that, I'm going to wander the streets, try and find a, uh, a chick that's very easily taken advantage of. And I'm going to uh, try and pawn this emerald necklace off to her. Like, oh, okay. oh, <laughs> oh okay. Too gold. Why'd you have to say chick? <laughs> made it weird for us for a minute there. You guys' minds went to a dark, <laughs> dark place, okay? Uh, so yeah, you're able to find someone to sell it to. Okay. Uh, what price are you trying to sell it for? 200. 200? Okay. Oh. Uh, she <laughs> immediately says, Oh no, no, that's way too much. That's way too much. How about 50? You don't know where this necklace is from, do you? <laughs> I don't at all. This, do you this... even? What are you even there? <laughs> well, that was a pretty high price for it, just a necklace with an emerald on it. These emeralds were taken from the depths. Oh, so they're, they're cursed! <laughs> <laughs> they're some of the best emeralds you can find in Talfania. And this craftsmanship <laughs> is made by the, the best dwarves in Talfania. I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, just roll deception. <laughs> 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 I know a guy. Yeah. Where the fuck is my deception? This is the worst pitch oh. ever. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen? <laughs> she had one. <laughs> wow. So she's like, oh, you know, th these do look like really good emeralds. Uh, uh, how about a hundred? How about this? Yeah. I'll drop the price for you. Uh, 125. <laughs> That's about the lowest I can do for you. I've only got a hundred in my pocket. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it on your tail. <laughs> Get that sweet after. flowy, man. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Do you have any more gold at home? I guess I do, yeah. I will give you this necklace for 125 I cannot go any lower. <laughs> I'd be losing money if I sold it for you for 100 <laughs> Okay, I guess you're right. Yeah, I'll go home and get some mu some oh more money. And she God. she goes home, this comes back, girl. and just gives you 125 gold pieces. <laughs> you're a terrible person for that. My she goodness. probably stole her son's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out a little too well. <laughs> Score. But mommy, that was my college fund. <laughs> uh, so that is where we leave off for this episode of Now Twenty. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>